Hello, I'm Nancy Cosmos, Curatorial Assistant and Project Manager at Jenkins Arboretum and Gardens. Today, I'd like to share with you some of my favorite plants here at Jenkins, ferns. I especially like ferns for two reasons. First, deer don't eat ferns. And second, ferns display an enormous variety in shades and textures of green. The first fern on our walkabout today is a Christmas fern. This is an evergreen clump forming plant. The plant is typically one to two feet tall and has upright fronds through most of the year. The fiddleheads push up in the springtime through that old um, growth that's laying down in the fall is when they put out their the fertile spore structures here at the ends of the fronds so then once the spores are released it shrivels up and you can you can clean up the plant by just pulling off that bit and it still stays green then in the uh, winter time once like snow has fallen on it the the uh, fronds will lay flat but it'll stay green through the winter. These plants are cinnamon ferns. They're among the first to sprout in the spring. The fiddleheads are covered with a fine silvery filaments and they look really hairy. The fertile fronds develop and they're like tall cinnamon sticks uh, in the center of the clump and they die back in about June. Then these sterile fronds develop uh, shortly after the fertile fronds and and the plant through the summer is a nice vase like structure of th these fronds um, which turn a nice golden yellow to cinnamon color in the fall. In the green ribbon garden we have a nice linear feature of of cinnamon ferns planted to make a very distinctive texture there. So here we have a sensitive fern. Sensitive fern fronds are kind of a medium to light green with these deeply lobed uh, leaves. And they can be eight inches to three feet tall. The ferns spread by roots and they will wander around your garden. Uh, the common name for sensitive fern comes from their sensitivity to the frost in the, in the fall. The fertile fronds have a very unique beaded appearance. So that's a fertile frond there. This is a royal fern. The delicate bright green fronds of the royal ferns sometimes have a silvery cast. In the spring, the fiddleheads of this fern have a thick and wiry look, very dark. Through the summer, the sterile fronds make up the majority of the clump. They are typically two to three feet tall, but can get as much as five feet tall. Okay, so this is the Dixie Wood Fern. It's one of my very favorites because it's very tall and upright. And uh, it, it also has the vase-shaped clump form. So through the majority of the summer, this plant is very tall, it's upright, the fronds can be four or five feet tall, they're a nice medium green, and th this will grow in deep, heavy shade. Hay-scented ferns spread by roots, and they form colonies. Here on Woodland Walk is an example of just such a colony. Uh, a staff nickname for this area is Fern Gully. So essentially, we're using ferns as a ground cover in this area of the arboretum. So this is a single frond of a hay-scented fern, and it's, it's a very fine textured fern. It gets its name because when you crush it, it um, has a very nice cut grass, hay-scented scent. Here we have northern maidenhair fern. The fronds of maidenhair fern have a unique, graceful, fan-like pattern. In the spring, the fiddleheads sprout from the creeping roots 
and they have a dark burgundy wiry uh, look. They're very beautiful fiddleheads, very delicate. This is a creeping plant with a fine textured medium green appearance. It is about a foot tall. It can get to 18 inches and form a nice group. So all the ferns that I've covered today are natives of Eastern North America. All of these ferns are also available for sale at our plant shop. Our plant shop will be closing on Sunday, October 11th. Thank you so much for joining me on this Wednesday walkabout. I really have enjoyed sharing the ferns with you. They are one of my favorite plants. And I hope to see you just strolling around Jenkins. You can see them in many places and how to plant them in your garden by looking at where they're planted and how they're doing within the Arboretum. Bye.